Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. Today I'll be reviewing this budget Robin CMOS FPV camera from Runcam. The Runcam Robin is a very cheap FPV camera at around £20 or $25. So it's quite a bit cheaper than Runcam's other offerings and to be honest quite a bit cheaper than most of the competition. And they've done this by stripping out the stuff most of us don't really need, like on-screen display and so on. Basically, most beta flight controllers do all this for us, so having it built into the camera isn't really necessary. And this is built to the same quality as other Runcam cameras. It's got an ABS body on it, and you can get that in Runcam orange or black, like this one. And you can choose between a 1.8 and a 2.1mm angle lens. And this one on here is the 2.1 millimeter lens. And it weighs, well, let's have a look, see if I can get that in the camera. It's around five and a half, 5.6 grams, which is pretty good. And it was designed to have super low latency, around six milliseconds, and a wide dynamic range that's better even than the Runcam Eagle, which is surprising you've got 120 dB of range. And it's basically a small 90 millimeter wide camera, but Runcam provide this adapter bracket and some M2 bolts, so you can fit it into a full size quad. You just screw that on there and then you've got a full width body. But this will easily fit into two inch and three inch quads without the adapter. A quick run through the important specs for this. It's got a one third inch, 120 dB wide dynamic range CMOS sensor with a horizontal resolution of 700 TV lines at a 4.3 aspect ratio. And they quote a super low six millisecond latency. And this is switchable between NTSC and PAL. And by default, it's in NTSC. To change it over, you just have to short these together, which is covered in the instructions. You can power this between 5 and 36 volts, but it's most likely you'll be powering this off a 5 volt output from your flight controller rather than direct off a battery. It'll be a lower noise supply anyway. So, all in all, this is a no frills CMOS camera that delivers a pretty good image and suits a tight build budget. And having said that, it's surprisingly good for such a low price. Check out the links in the description for the latest prices. Here's some DVR flight footage from my favourite camera testing location, so you can see how it performs. And because it's the UK, it was overcast and I was dodging rain showers all day. And you'll see a few spots on the lens. And this 120 dB of dynamic range makes flying in and out of shadows and under the trees a doddle and you'll see it handles light to dark changes really well and didn't give me any problems even after I clobbered a ghost branch. The colours aren't too saturated but enough to give a really nice punchy image although there's a magenta tinge that's only really noticeable on the sky and the clouds. And also the sharpness isn't too high so you don't get that horrible shimmering effect. As always Thanks for watching, and if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please consider subscribing to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.